Hey guys, thanks for joining us as we uh, continue to keep you up to date in our little corner of the Corvette world and what's going on as we promote, represent, and share all things Corvette. Uh, and each day is always a, a different task. Uh, right now it's the beginning of the month, a couple of days uh, when filming this before we go to Detroit. And uh, this is part of the behind the scenes stuff that I've got to do. My desk is a mess. Uh, I'm going through the invoice book. I'm going through the inventory book. I'm going through the GM incentives. Just pages and pages and pages of this stuff. It's funny that I did the, um, I did the funny uh, Christmas video uh, where I had my suit on. And we're talking about some of the savings that we had for year-end closeout stuff. And it was crazy. There's no doubt about it. But I saw some of the comments. People are like, well, what's he going to do to promote in January? Want to see what he's going to do? Well, I'm trying to figure out right now what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's actually going to be pretty decent. Uh, the 2017 stuff, we're real, real fortunate. We got some great incentives, a couple of enhancements there. 2016s, hey, we're going to have to make some creative extra efforts to make those go away. Uh, but don't worry. Uh, we're always keeping it flexible fun and fair so stay tuned uh, more in this video on what we're going to do for 2017 well let's face it january is probably uh i i i think it's fair to say january for selling corvette or just sales in general you're coming off that 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 holiday you know blah, just, blah, just worn out january's got to be the worst month to sell cars <laughs> I'd be the worst one but you know what we've got some great things so I'm actually pretty happy with what we have going forward uh, not only incentive wise but inventory wise so stay tuned we're gonna keep this thing going in this edition of Corvette Conti's vlog about Corvette yeah you guys get it man talk to you in a bit oh and before I finish my pricing programs I did see in one of the comments and somebody said hey this guy wears the coolest hats I do have a cool job representing America's favorite sports car. We're talking about Corvette, and I get to wear Corvette stuff every single day. And I do have, oh my gosh, stacks, stacks of Corvette hats. This one today, I don't think you guys have seen it yet. Can you see it on the camera there? Yeah, Corvette Racing, got the little Jake in there up underneath. Look at that yellow with the uh, C7R. Spin around the back here, get to see the Corvette logo. Oh yeah. Stay tuned, more cool hats are coming up. I just ordered a Grand Sport hat from Corvette Collection, so we'll be sporting that as soon as we get it in. Of course, when I ordered it, it's back ordered. Oh, this is me intently updating the website, the inventory special, so you see it, you're like, wow, that's a good deal. And you wanna pick up the phone and you'll call or you wanna click the button, you wanna email us. Now that's, that's what happens right now. Before you do all that, I gotta do this. That's what I'm doing. But there's definitely a uh, lot of thought process that goes into what we present before we actually present it. All right, thanks for continuing to watch this particular vlog. And yes, I promised to talk about our 2017 marketing specials as we kick off January Corvette sales here in 2017. And as I said earlier, they're a lot better than I thought. These are actually pretty darn good and we're excited about the opportunity. So I'll share those with you shortly. The other thing we like to share is just real stuff going on in our little corner of the Corvette world. We're back in service right now. Grand Sport just come in from Bowling Green, Kentucky. And you'll see sometimes some of the guys in different parts of, uh, of the website you'll see how they take the in-transit covers off. Well, what our guy likes to do, Chuck Metz, what he likes to do is put them up in the air. Don't do the clips first. He puts them up in the air, and then it's a lot easier as he brings it down, and he's very methodical about how he takes that cover off so he's not dragging it across the car, making sure, because sometimes, sometimes you'll get some rock and debris up underneath that cover. He doesn't want to drag that across the car either, so he's very, very careful in that regard. So he's perfect. He's our main Corvette tech. He's just a goof, and you're going to like him. We're going to start sharing more of him and all kinds of things. As I said, all Corvette relative on this vlog. So I'm glad that you guys are here. Let's see what he's doing right now. Okay, he's getting the uh, standard side skirts that come on the car. Hi, Chuck. Small all right. Right here. Right here. 
So with Grand Sport, you're gonna see, now this car's not ordered with the level two aero kit, but it still comes, as we've mentioned in previous videos, the three quarter rocker, so Chuck still has to put those on. And then way up top, I may not be able to see it, uh, the Grand Sport comes with what is basically the standard Z06 rear spoiler, so that still has a couple of little winglets that he has to put on in the PDI process, and it looks like those are already on right now. Have you checked the dip fluid already? In 2014, when the Sting Race first started being delivered, there was a dealer down in the south part of the country. Didn't check the differentials. We had a lot of differentials that were burning up. That was a very short-lived problem. The differential company was pointing the finger at Bowling Green. Bowling Green was pointing the finger at the differential company. But we do, still to this day, on every single car, we check the rear differentials or the PDI. Checking these for years. Do you, have you found one lately or no? Uh, no, not lately. After 2014, they seem to have got the issues straight now, but I still check them in. Energy safety, sorry. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, That's the thing when you're doing like a live vlog, you always get all kinds of unseen distractions behind the camera. And when the guys walk up, Man, they're doing the studio! I'd offer to help, but I think he'd smack me. I'd stay out of the way. <laughs> Back in 14, it was a big deal to save those covers. We don't save them anymore, do we? No. I mean, what are you going to do with it? You'll never get it back on the car, trust me. You'll never get it back on the car. What do you got there? Seal plates. Oh, the Grand Sport seal plates? Grand Sport seal plates, yes, yeah. Sir. If you keep in mind, when you order the Grand Sport seal plates, when it's ordered on the car, you'll retain the Corvette ones, and Chuck will put those in a box, and when you buy the car from us, they'll be in the back here, in the original box, and then the accessory ones will be on the car. Hey, you're done already? Yes, sir. Jeez. So when he's just about done with the prep, you'll see that the plastic remains on the seats as we've talked about in previous videos. Performance exhaust is open. the belly in the, the double row? Yeah. Come around the back side? That's fine. Yeah, I'm still filming. Why? <laughs> I can wait for you to stall it. <laughs> well, a lot more of that stuff to come up. You know, stuff that's going on in service to give you more insight uh, behind the scenes on our Corvette representation. And after we get past this winter time, I know you folks in the south and the west, you're like, winter what's that um, yeah we, we got winter going on uh, we're gonna have more of you folks on the vlog some of the shows that we go to across the country so stay tuned for that but hey we got to kick off January right now the way the holiday fell it, man it is kind of goofy it's got everything messed up I don't even know what day it is anymore okay but we got to start January 2017 sales right now so here's what we've done for 2017 Corvettes General Motors continues a national program of GM supplier for everyone. That's a great program. It's a no hassle negotiation scenario, a uh, real good fair deal for you. But what we've done is take that program and one-upped it by a thousand dollars. 
How about that? Now, keep in mind, if you have a Corvette now of any year and you can prove ownership, you pick up another two grand. And the pricing we have online too, we have another bonus tag coupon that's included in our price. So as flexible and as fair upfront as we possibly can, to let's just rock and roll and let's start 2017 right now. Let's face it, from us as a as a volume dealer, we've got to work with very minimal and sometimes no margins. So there's a lot of thought process, as you saw earlier in this video, to get everything planned, to get everything ready to go. So when you see the price online, you say, yeah, okay, that's something I want to do business on. Or, hey, I really like how that car's equipped. Knowing what you're buying, as we talked about in previous videos too, because you're not just buying price, is also very, very important. I mean, I'll give you an idea. Um, on another scenario, uh, one of the Grand Sports we just sold to a gentleman in California, his dealer wanted 10 grand over sticker. Uh, they start like that on just everything, like a regular coupe. So when you get done, you're like, woo, I've been in here for four hours, man. I negotiated off 10, I got 10 grand off, man. I bought the car sticker. Yay. <laughs> Oh man, there's better ways. Why do you think we're on the web right now? Come on, CorvetteConti.com for Coughlin. We're gonna make it easy. We do so much business out of state. We do so much business in state that when you buy your Corvette, there's no questions, there's no hassles, there's no games. All right, hey, that's that's the way it should be done. Now, let's get into 2016s. There's still a focus on 2016s. And this is pretty neat too because you can stack a lot of these programs, one being the Corvette owner loyalty. If you own a Corvette right now, it's a $2,000 rebate. We've got it included in our remaining 2016 pricing on my blog, on the CoglinCorvette.com website as well. Also too, we've got some bonus tag money in there and we've got very, very aggressive pricing because we know, we know we have to, okay? Let's, let's be honest with each other. We gotta move them. So we've done all the creative things we can do behind the scenes to make it presentable to you right up front and go, wow, that's a nice car, that's a great deal. Springs right around the corner, let's go. In addition to that, the 2016 stuff you see posted on our websites, if you have the Corvette loyalty, you also can use that price with the 0% program for 60 months. What a great savings value there. Now that's a great value to talk about right now. Hey, cash is king, so save it and uh, use the 0%, why not? In addition to that, January is also very notorious for those of you out there that have GM credit card. You can also stack that, stack it right on top and use it with everything else we talked about. So I'm hoping to do business with you and I'm really looking forward to being a part of your Corvette family if I'm not already. Still to come in our vlogs, we're gonna be in Detroit even though all of a sudden now it's it's, it's just broken out that our sources originally were telling us, that's why I went through great lengths to get my media pass. Now it's like, do we even bother going? But you know, I'm still gonna go. Um, a lot of places are reporting that the ZR1, the would-be ZR1, more spy shots are out there. Hey, do you notice the blue calipers? Yeah, buddy. Uh, that car's probably not gonna be in Detroit. I'm gonna be really bummed because that is, um, I mean, let's face it, from a corporate standpoint, from a manufacturer standpoint, Detroit is the, the world stage for premieres, even though I know General Motors likes to select different different venues to do that, sometimes Los Angeles, sometimes New York, Geneva last year for the, for the Grand Sport. So, you know, if they really don't reveal the ZR1 Corvette that we've seen, nothing but a bunch of spy shots. Now, and those spy shots are all staged, so it's like, oh, we're driving around trying to be incognito. Oh, oh someone took a picture. Yeah, okay, so we've seen the spike. Let's see the car. Let's see the car. So all of a sudden now it's not going to be in Detroit? <clears throat> Never mind, I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. So anyways, it, it could debut if it does not in Detroit, uh, in Chicago, and we'll keep you up to date on that. All right, also still to come on my vlog, I contemplate struggling very, very difficultly uh, whether I take my Corvette Christmas tree down or not. That'll be coming up before we go to Detroit. Now, don't worry, all the stuff's down at the house. I'm not one of those guys, but you know, I'm specializing in Corvette, so I can kinda, I can kind of keep the tree up. I can kind of think, I don't know. It's still a Christmas tree. I don't know. We'll talk about that later. Thanks for joining us. Thumbs up, as real as it gets. CorvetteConti.com vlogs. I'm glad you're here. Hit the subscribe, subscribe button. Hit that button. Bam, baby. More coming at you soon. Thanks. Thumbs up, guys.